Ashley. I am a Jamaican English teacher living in the great country of China for the last four and a half years. Now, why is it taking so long for me to actually share stuff with everyone, like on a global scale? I'm not exactly sure. But all of my friends have been basically saying, hey, you need to start vlogging, like seriously. And I'm just like, mm, okay, all right, fine. It's taken me four and a half years, but here I am, and I'm ready to share all that I've experienced and so much more, answer so many questions, just really shed some light on what has been happening in China over the last four and a half years that I have been here. I hope you enjoy all my videos. Please go ahead and like, subscribe, share, ask me questions, help me to build the content, and we are gonna have so much fun. So, let's go ahead and jump in. Take a look at me in China. Well, Zhengzhou is a very large city um, when, in terms of population. It is the capital uh, city of Henan province, which is the largest province by population in China with over a hundred million people. Uh, Zhengzhou itself has around 10.35 million people, with me being like one of those, you know? And so when I first got there, it was like, uh, a huge difference for me in terms of where I lived in Jamaica, the places that I've traveled to in the US, and getting to that city was like a real eye-opener. Um, for like three months, I thought I was the only foreigner in the city because I didn't really move around much and um, really and truly there, you don't see a lot of foreigners, so it was like really shocking for me, a uh, big culture shock, but Junjo has something for everybody. You just have to really try and explore um, on your own, or the best thing you can do for yourself is to find a Chinese friend who is going to help you to get around help you with translation, help you showing um, you the nice places to visit, uh, the best food to try or best restaurants, helping you with shopping. Um, it is a good idea for the first thing for you to do when you get to China is to try and make friends with locals or any other expats that you are able to find. In my case, I didn't have any expats um, at the time to really make friends with, so I found like the this person, she found me, I found her, whichever way you'd like to really put it. But at the same time, I was just like blown away by this little human being who has been uh, such a tower of strength for me um, throughout my entire time here. And it was great. <laughs> Typically one of the most asked questions is like, why did you come to China? Well, that answer has like so many different parts to it. But the main thing was, hey, one of my friends that I actually uh, knew of who was coming here back in 2014, uh, he was living here and he went, oh, um, China is great, you should try it. Like he was living here for like two years and then he returned to Jamaica while I was there and um, basically just said, hey, try it. And with everything that was going on for me, what, like with me at the time, I was just like, okay, China is like maybe the best option for me to really just get out and explore and just chart a new life for myself. And so that's what I did. I'll be going ahead and creating content about the 
choosing of the cities and like how I actually got here that in itself is like a whole long process which will require it's like its own videos and um, I'd be more than happy to share that and uh, basically I came here back in 2018 it was June of 2018 and I came to the city of Zhengzhou, Henan province, um, which is right in the middle of China. It is the center of China, the central most province. And so um, I came to that city and settled right in. I, cho I chose to teach adults at the time and it was the best choice I could have ever made at that time and um, here now it's just like a whole different journey and I'm so grateful for everything that I've experienced and I can't wait to share all of it with all of you. That's it for my first video. I hope that you learned something about China and about the culture and how people actually live here. It's a great place for expats to come to even though the pandemic and blah 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 blah. Guess what? Life still goes on and we all need to find somewhere that's going to make us happy or where we can explore and cultivate our own happiness. And that is what I've been able to do in this great country and I just want to encourage people to come on over and just try it. You know, even if you're not going to be teachers, you can be engineers, you can be designers, you can be influencers, you can be models, you can be anything in China. There are tons of jobs available. Just go ahead and search. I will include some job sites in the description box below and just go ahead like share subscribe and see you in the next one bye